Hello friends. Hi, how are you today? Welcome to Storytime. My name is Laura. I'm the Early Childhood Program Developer at Children's Discovery Museum in San Jose. And I'm so excited that you could join me once again for Storytime. Um, just like every other Storytime, I'm home, you're home. So I'll share some stories with you from my home to your home. All right. I want to thank the David and Lucille Packard Foundation as along with um, SV Creates for helping to support our story times. All right, you ready to sing our opening song? Yeah? Okay, here we go. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Check your hands, check your feet. Check your hands, check your feet. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Well, welcome. Um, so today's story is about something that is in the sky. Have you been outside today? Yes, so maybe, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Did, when you looked up in the sky, did you see anything today? <gasps> did you see any clouds today? Maybe, maybe not? Yeah. No, all right, well, today's story is all about the different types of clouds, okay? So the clouds can look very different, huh? So sometimes clouds can be kind of puffy like this, you see, I've got a little bit of a glare there. Kind of puffy clouds. Or sometimes clouds can be, I would say they're wispy, kind of like feathery clouds in the sky. Have you ever seen clouds like this? Mm hmm Sometimes clouds can be kind of stormy, like dark clouds. Right before it starts to rain, sometimes the clouds get very dark. Or clouds can be fluffy and puffy. Huh? Look at that, like big, fat, fluffy clouds in the sky. These are really fun to look at, I think. And sometimes clouds can just be mesmerizing. So I've never actually seen clouds like this before myself, but when I saw this picture, I thought that was pretty cool. These are called lenticular clouds, if you, if you wanna know. But sometimes clouds can just look like different shapes. Like maybe they look like an animal um, or something that looks familiar to you. So I went through some of my old pictures and I found this cloud in the sky. What does this kind of remind you of? I think it looks like a heart. Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> so that is what our story is about today. About how things can look different. Our story is called, It Looked Like Spilt Milk by Charles G. Shaw. All right, you ready? Let's dive in. Sometimes it looked like spilt milk, but it was not spilt milk. Mm -mm, it wasn't. Hmm. Sometimes it looked like a rabbit. Hmm, see the bunny ears, the tail, see that? but it wasn't a rabbit. Sometimes it looked like a bird. <gasps> See, it had wings, beak. But was it a bird? I'm asking you, was it a bird? No, it wasn't. It wasn't a bird. Sometimes it looked like a tree, a big sturdy tree. But say it with me but it wasn't a tree. Very good. Sometimes it looked like an ice cream cone. I want that. Can I have the ice cream cone? Is it an ice cream cone? Mm, but it wasn't an ice cream cone. Mm. What do you think this looks like? Hmm. Sometimes it looks like a flower. See, here's like the, the, the petals and here are the leaves, the stem. But do you think it was a flower? But it wasn't a flower. <gasps> what does it look like now? Oink, oink. I'm giving you a hint. Oink, oink. <laughs> Sometimes it looked like a pig, but it wasn't a pig, was it? No. Sometimes it looked like birthday cake. Look at that cake the cake here, there's a candle, someone celebrating their first birthday. <gasps> Look at them, a little bit of fire. 
Do you think it's a cake? Can we eat it? Should I try? No, but it wasn't a, a birthday cake. No. Oh, what does it look like now? Ah. Ah. Sometimes it looked like a sheep. But it wasn't a sheep. Sometimes it looked like a great horned owl. Look at, see, you have the head. The horns here, its wings, its tail. But guess what? It was not, it wasn't a great horned owl. Mm -mm. Sometimes it looked like a mitten, but was it a mitten? No, not a mitten. What is it? What is it? This shape shifter. Sometimes it looked like a squirrel. Look at the squirrel, look at its tail. That's a huge tail, look at that. Look, at, it looks like it's eating something or it might just about to be eating something. Do you think it's a squirrel? Maybe it is a squirrel. It looks a lot like a squirrel. Do you think? No, but it wasn't a squirrel. Sometimes it looked like an angel. See, you got the wings, the body, wings. But it wasn't an angel. What is it? What do you think it is? Can you tell me what you think it is? Ooh, lots of good guesses. I'm hearing lots of good guesses. <gasps> Sometimes it looked like spilt milk, but it wasn't spilt milk. It was just a cloud in the sky. Look at that puffy white cloud. <laughs> so that cloud had lots of different shapes. So have you ever looked up into the sky and seen different shapes in the clouds? Like maybe it reminded of you of like, I don't know, what could it be? A dog, an elephant, maybe a different shape, like the heart that I saw that one time. So maybe next, so I want, what I want you to do is next time you go outside, look up in the sky and look at the clouds and see if they remind you of anything, okay? And you can write comments to me too. You can always let me know what you found in the sky or take pictures, you could do that too. And then, um, yeah, okay. So our next activity, Actually, I have a song first. I, I forgot that. I have a song. We're gonna sing a song. It goes, the wind moves the clouds. And I have the lyrics for all the parents or friends who know how to read. If you wanna sing along with me, ready? It goes, the wind moves the clouds. The wind moves the clouds. And when it does, they change their shape. The wind moves the clouds. Okay, ready, we're gonna do it again, ready? And you can actually sway a little bit when you, like your wind, okay? The wind moves the clouds, the wind moves the clouds, and when they do, they change their shape. The wind moves the clouds. Nice, all right. So speaking of wind, I have another activity that we're going to have to use wind for. How many clouds do I have up here? How many do I have? Can we count them? One, two, three, four, five. Five little clouds. Right? So this is a story about the five little clouds, but I'm gonna need your help because it's gonna take a lot of wind or we're gonna need to make a lot of wind for our story, okay? So it goes like this. The five little clouds up in the sky, floating, floating way up high. One disappeared from the sky so blue when a big gust of wind came blowing through. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a big deep breath. We're gonna hold it and then we're gonna blow on the count of three. Okay, ready? Here we go. To breathe in, <gasps> hold it. One, two, three, and blow. <sighs> and guess what? We blew so hard that we actually took two clouds out of the sky, but I'm just gonna pretend like that didn't happen and we're gonna do it again. All right, so one cloud <laughs> flew, blew away. How many do we have left now? One, two, three, four, four clouds, ready? Four little clouds up in the sky, floating, floating way up high. One disappeared from the sky so blue when a big gust of wind came blowing through. Okay, ready? Breathe in. One, two, three, and blow. <sighs> How many clouds do we have left now? Let's count them. One, two, three, three. Look at, look at this cloud. Does that remind you of anything? 
I think that kind of looks like a bunny. That looks like a little bit of a bunny to me. Okay, here we go. Three little clouds up in the sky, floating, floating way up high. One disappeared from the sky so blue when a big gust of wind came blowing through. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Breathe in. One, two, three, blow. <sighs> How many do we have now? One, two, we have two clouds. Two little clouds up in the sky, floating, floating way up high. One disappeared from the sky so blue when a big gust of wind came blowing through. All right, here we go again. Deep breath. One, two, three, and blow. Oh, look at this. One lonely cloud. One lonely cloud up in the sky, floating, floating way up high. One disappeared from the sky so blue when a big gust of wind came blowing through. Ready? Okay, last time, hold your breath. One, two, three, and blow. And look at that. All of our clouds have left the sky and we have a beautiful blue sky to look at. Nice. All right, my friends. Well, we have had so much fun doing these kind of more relaxing activities, but now we're going to do some movement activities where we're going to act like the weather. That's right, I said weather. All right, so I'm gonna move you back so we have some more room to move around. Slowly, sorry. All right, here we go. Okay, so we have lots of different weather patterns that we are going to do. Our first one is that we are going to drip like the rain, okay? Now, how do you drip like the rain? What do you think you do? How would you move like rain? <gasps> Maybe you could move your fingers, kind of go like this. Actually, this reminds me of a song that I really like to sing. It goes, the rain is falling down, the rain is falling down, pitter patter, pitter patter, rain is falling down. Nice, okay, so we got our rain. Oh, now we are going to pound like the thunder. Oh, have you ever heard thunder before? Did it? It's really loud, huh? It could be a little bit scary if you didn't expect it, huh? So how would we make the sound of thunder? What can we do, huh? We could thump our chest, whoa. Or we could stomp our feet. Stomp them really good, get all those thunder out. Or, you can even do both at the same time, ready? All right, good job, all right. <laughs> uh, all right, my, my helper who's on the couch right now said that that was actually very loud. So I guess that was really good thunder making everyone. Good job, all right. Now we're going to sway like the wind. Can you sway like the wind? How could we sway like the wind? Move our whole bodies. Woo! Maybe it's a soft, gentle wind. Or maybe it's a giant gust. Woo! Soft, gentle wind. Giant gust. Woo! All right, nice. Speaking of spinning, what if we spun like a tornado? All right, you ready to spin? Okay. Here we go. One, two, three. Spin, spin. You can put your arms like this, make more, more like a circle shape, like a tornado. Spin, spin, spin. Spin, spin, spin. Okay, I'm getting dizzy, so now I'm going to. Whoa. <laughs> I really was dizzy. I'm going to freeze like ice, like an icicle. Keep freezing. There's a lot of ice. Okay, you can, you can move now. Okay, now we are going to fall like the snow. How would the snow fall? Hmm, maybe kind of like heavier boots, boom, like this. So everyone kind of go, make sure you put this down. Okay, use your hands, like kind of like big snow hands. I guess that doesn't go really good, boom, does it? Snow's berries. And 
And my last one that I have is, we're going to float like the fog. So the moon recognize this bridge? Is that the Golden Gate Bridge? Yes. All right, so we're going to float, <gasps> float like the fog. Ready? Float like the fog, float like the fog. <laughs> All right, my friends, well done, good job. All right, well, I wanna thank you so much for coming to our story time today. I hope you had a good time. I had a really good time. Um, and if you are enjoying the Virtual Purple Museum, I would consider, or I would ask you to consider going to our website so you can learn how more about how to support the museum. All right, so with that, we're gonna say our goodbye song. It goes like this. Our hands say thank you with the clap, clap, clap. Our feet say thank you with the tap, tap, tap. Clap, 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 tap, tap, tap. We roll our hands and we roll them really fast. You gotta keep on rolling them, ready? Because when we stop, oh, we have to say goodbye. All right, everyone, thank you for joining me. We'll see you again soon. Bye.